What are the best Facebook Marketplace categories for dropshipping in 2021? Dropshippers are always looking for new ways to reinvent themselves and the business model that they are working on. Facebook Marketplace is a huge untapped market when it comes to dropshipping. Now, the Facebook Marketplace has been around for a while, but dropshipping on it? Very profitable and very few are doing it at this time. In this video, I'm going to go over the best Facebook Marketplace categories to dropship from so you can get started the right way and you won't make any mistakes like many dropshippers do in the beginning. Quick intro, let's begin. What's up everybody, my name is Liran from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've been dropshipping for the last several years and this video is all about the best Facebook marketplace categories to dropship from in 2021 while it's still fresh, while it's still new and while this market is still untapped. Imagine joining dropshipping 10 years ago when it was still new, people didn't even know about it and there was so much profit to be made. Not that there isn't today, it's always growing and expanding more and more every year. But the golden age is always when you're in the beginning, when you're entering an untapped market. And this is exactly what's happening now with the Facebook marketplace. So to get you started the right way, we are going to go over the best Facebook marketplace categories that we can start dropshipping on and start making our profits right away. Right before we get started, if you are new to our YouTube channel, this is the part where you need to subscribe to our channel to always stay up to date on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that are coming out in the dropshipping industry. So to begin, let's familiarize ourselves with what the customers see when they enter the Facebook marketplace and they play around with the categories. So let's enter Facebook. Now we're in the marketplace. The categories will see them on the left side. So on one hand, we have what the viewer sees, which is the categories as you can see them in front of me right here. But if you're creating a listing, you're going to see different categories. They're kind of the same, but they're kind of different. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So if we're going to create a new listing, I'm going to do it on a new tab so that we will be able to compare them. So right now I'm creating a listing, choose a listing type, item for sale. And now let's go right here to the category section. Now this is when you're posting an item for sale. So the first category that we have is home and garden, and then we have all of the subcategories, tools, furniture, household, garden, appliances. Then we have entertainment, video games, books, movies, and music, but wait. That is not what we're seeing when we are viewing it as a customer on the Facebook marketplace. Here I'm seeing vehicles, I'm seeing property rentals, and let's see where the home is. Right here, we got home goods, and then we also got home improvement supplies. But here, when we're creating a listing, we don't have two homes, we only have one home and garden, and then some subcategories. So as you see, it doesn't look exactly the same. Maybe Facebook is still going to edit this around a little bit. This is still all relatively new, but I'm going to talk to you from the seller's view, from when you are posting an item for sale and you have these categories over here. Facebook will then later on place them in subcategories, which they think will be relevant for your product. So which products can we sell on the Facebook marketplace? Which products are good for dropshipping? Let's get on with the list. Starting off on the Facebook marketplace categories, we got the home and garden category, which is perfect for dropshipping. Now home and garden is actually very general. We have a lot of subcategories under that, including home appliances, bath products, bedding products, cleaning supplies, furniture, garden, outdoor, home decor, improvement supplies, lighting products, kitchen and dining products, patio furniture, storage organization, and tools. All of these categories are really good when it comes to dropshipping. Most of the products inside those categories are an exact match when it comes to dropshipping. So when it comes to home and garden, focus on those subcategories for dropshipping. And if you need some extra help, you can just check out our blog. You have the link right under this video. And in this blog article, you'll also have links to the top 10 home and garden dropshipping products to sell in 2021, along with the top 10 trending kitchen products to sell in 2021, all which match this home and garden category. So you can already go ahead and get started with the product ideas that we have for you in those articles. It'll help you get started. And once you start getting those sales, you'll see exactly what products are performing well and which are not really fit for the dropshipping business model on the Facebook marketplace. So all of these categories are gold when it comes to the home and garden niche. Now let's move on to category number two for the Facebook marketplace dropshipping. Now we have a category called family. Now what subcategories do they have under family? Well, let's begin. We got babies and kids items. So anything related to babies and kids. We got health and beauty. We have pet supplies and we also have toys and games. 
So when you take a look at all of these subcategories, you can see how it matches the general family category. And under these subcategories, you have a whole bunch of items that you can start dropshipping. And once again, it will be a perfect fit for the dropshipping business model combined with the Facebook marketplace. Now to help you even more with finding products inside those categories, which match the family category that Facebook has ready for us, we got a top 10 baby dropshipping products to sell in 2021. And we also have a top 10 pet dropshipping products to sell in 2021. So we're really trying to help you guys find these products. We're using our special algorithms on AutoDS and a few other very helpful methods to find these profitable products. Just to show you a quick example, let's check out the top 10 pet dropshipping products to sell in 2021. And when we scroll down a little bit, we'll see the list of the top products to sell under this niche. So this is all to help you guys get started with the right products, see what sells, see what's performing well, see what matches the Facebook marketplace categories for dropshipping. It's all about market testing. That's what it's always been about. And we already have a whole bunch of data that we can come with. So use the information that I'm giving you guys in this video and let's move on to category number three. Now we got electronics. Now electronics, of course, is a very general category, just like the ones we've seen above. So let's break this one down a little bit. We got car electronics, cell phone accessories, headphones, home and audio systems, home automation systems, portable audio and video products, printers, scanners, fax machines, security cameras, DVR systems. All of these are a great match for dropshipping. You can dropship each and every one of these subcategories. You can find best selling products in each and every one of them. And to help you out with this one too, we also have a top 10 trending tech gadgets, dropshipping products to sell in 2021. Now, tech gadgets and electronics usually go hand in hand, so you're going to find a great list of products to use for the Facebook marketplace under that article. So that's it for electronics. Now let's move on to category number four. We got hobbies. Now hobbies again is general. We're going to have to break it down. Under this category, we got the following subcategories. We got antiques and collectibles, arts and crafts, auto parts for your car, fishing gear, bicycles, musical instruments, outdoor recreation equipment, sporting goods, and toys and games. So we got a nice list of subcategories under hobbies. And to help you out finding some hobbies products, we got a top 10 best toys and hobbies products article to sell in 2021. So use all of this valuable information to really create your store and really get good products on there. Remember one of the rules to maximizing your profits. When you have a product that sells, try and find more products that are similar to that product and add them to your store or to the Facebook marketplace, whatever it may be. And a quick reminder, AutoDS already has semi-automation when it comes to the Facebook marketplace. You can already start dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace. I have a full Facebook marketplace overview video, which shows you exactly how you can connect it with AutoDS and start monitoring your price and your stock and also import products to the Facebook marketplace really, really quick and save a lot of time. So that being said, let's move on to category number five for the Facebook marketplace. And here we have clothing and accessory products. So this one is pretty obvious. We know what we have over here. And just so you know, fashion is the largest B2C e-commerce market segment and its global size is estimated at $525 billion in 2019, which is less than two years ago. The market is expected to go further at 11.4% each year so if you think it's saturated if you think you can't make a profit there you won't have the answers unless you try it for yourself test out the market and find your secret hidden gems now under clothing and accessories we got baby clothing bags and luggage halloween costumes jewelry and accessories kids clothing men's shoes uniforms and work clothing and women's so there's a lot to say and a lot to sell when it comes to the fashion niche the Facebook marketplace is a great place to start dropshipping those products. And since there are so many suppliers that are supported when you're working with AutoDS, I'm talking over 25 suppliers, you have access to millions and millions of different products in different variations, different categories, different colors, different dimensions. You can never get enough of the total number of products that you can sell when you're running a dropshipping business. And once again, Facebook marketplace right now is the best time to enter. It's unsaturated. Not enough people have thought about it yet. And we want to help you guys be the early birds when it comes to Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. You will definitely enjoy the profit if you're doing the work correctly. 
Now, we already talked about all of the categories that are fit for the dropshipping marketplace and all of the subcategories included with a lot of product finding articles in the middle. And this is very, very important because we want to take care of our stores. We want to take care of our businesses and we don't want any trouble with Facebook to jeopardize everything that we are doing. So in order to do that, we need to know exactly what we can sell and what we can't sell. So let's start talking about that right now. First of all, it's wise to stay away from adult products. And when I say adult products, I mean sexual well-being products. I don't think you guys need me to get down to specifics what these products mean and what the sub niches and subcategories inside that are. You know exactly what I mean, so stay away from those products. Next, stay away from alcohol and tobacco products. So we can't sell anything that has to do with alcohol or tobacco and its accessories. Stay away from that. And believe me, there is more than enough products that you can sell. So do not get intimidated by what you cannot sell. Just keep it in mind to keep a healthy store and to really be here for the long run and not just for a month or two. Next, stay away from digital products. No digital media, no streaming services, only physical products that you can ship with a tracking number. Next, stay away from hazardous goods and materials. Anything that's dangerous, anything that's flammable. Use your head when you're conducting product research. Take a look at the product that you want to sell. Think about what will happen if a little baby swallows this product. Think about what will happen if you light a fire next to this product. So stay away from anything that's hazardous, dangerous, flammable and all of that. Next, stay away from ingestible supplements. I'm talking about vitamins, pills, protein bars, anything that says, hey, eat this or swallow this and you're going to get vitamins and it's going to make you healthier and da 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 da. Stay away from those products. Facebook does not like to see them on sale. They do not like people making assumptions on their health or to make all kinds of medical promises after taking that certain supplement. So stay away from those kinds of products. Also stay away from medical and healthcare products. For example, thermometers, first aid kits, breast pumps, face masks, nicotine products, and as mentioned, products with health or medical claims. Also stay away from drugs and paraphernalia, any accessory that has to do with that specific drug, and completely avoid weapons, ammunition, explosives. I hope this is obvious for you guys, but it's really important to talk about it. Once again, we are here for the long run. We don't want any trouble with our business because it is a real business after all that's making us a lot of money at the end of each month. So take care of your business and know exactly what you are doing every step of the way. If you want more information on what you can and cannot sell on the Facebook marketplace, you can also use the link inside the article that you have below this video to read Facebook's commerce policies from beginning to end on what you can and cannot sell. You're really going to get a much better idea of what you can and cannot sell and you won't be making any mistakes that you're going to regret later. That pretty much sums up this video for the top Facebook marketplace categories for dropshipping. I really hope that you found it informational, read what you can and cannot do, and check out all of the product finding articles that relate to these categories to help you get a winning edge and stay way ahead of your competition just by entering the Facebook marketplace before anyone else. And one more thing, if you guys want to see new features, new content, or improve anything that we already have on the AutoDS system, let us know by heading to feedback.autods.com, join us on Upvoti, tell us what features you want to see next, and we will listen. Once again, for all of you newcomers, if you didn't do it in the beginning of this video, subscribe now so that you'll always stay up to date and stay way ahead of the game. By watching our videos, seeing our updates, we'll always keep you up to date on all of the latest and hottest topics in the dropshipping industry. And if you enjoyed this video and you like the value that we're passing on, give us a little like, give us a little share. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the future videos.